work that goes into the final production. And that's the concept that we then had um, when ZGS had a call for um, their pop-up grant. And we were like, okay, we've always wanted to have an, ex an experience for people to see the process that an artist goes through. Not just, well, this time we just went with visual art, but we would want to continue this um, event um, with just like showcasing the processes that creatives go through to make the final piece. So when you come through and you see the final piece, you also see the journey that the artist went through. So um, fortunately, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate, Tanto is a, a ridiculously fast painter. So this process for her, um, really went by really quick and we were like, okay, we need like a week every day we're gonna shoot our house. And she's like, no guys, I just need like eight hours. And we're like, wow, okay, that was not what we were thinking. But it's still amazing that um, she can produce such amazing work. So we literally went to her house and we took her art desk, which you can see over there. Um, we told her to bring her outfit that she was wearing the day she painted, which is on this mannequin over here. And um, this little display here, yes, these are the three pieces that she did. But behind is actually, um, we took her headboard and we um, regenerated it here for this event. Because her room is just like a little, I don't know, like it should be in a museum. It's got all of these art pieces, these records, and a lot of really beautiful elements. And we were like, no, this is a part of the process. Um, and this is what we wanted to show to you guys today. So you're free to look. Please don't touch. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so just look, these are, it's not just a random desk in the middle of the room that we forgot to get rid of, no, it is actually a part of the exhibition, the outfit is also a part of the exhibition, it's not a fashion outfit we're trying to sell, no, we're not yet at that level. And then at the back there, um, there's a projection, which has got um, a part of um, our interview that we did with Tango, and just a, a bit of BTS around her and her creation process. We have headphones noise cancelling ones I hope that you can use um, to listen to that and um, in a few minutes um, after Tano just speaks a little bit about her pieces and performs for you we're also going to play you the playlist that she listened to while she was creating the piece and that's where the listen comes in and also the element of feeling comes in that you will feel the same emotions that she felt and hopefully you'll really understand her process and how she got to this final point. Um, just to say thank you again to all of you for coming through. A very big thank you again to the Zimbabwe German Society for allow. I don't think our concept would made much sense, but I was like to um, my project manager, I was like, listen, Tare was originally like into the visual art scene. She'll get it, she'll know what we mean. And thank you very much, Tare, for getting it and understanding what our concept was. I'm really not too sure if it made sense on paper, but she understood it and she had faith in us doing this and we really hope that this will be the first of many curations, many um, art exhibitions. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Tina, my project manager, who did everything. I'm just one who gets to speak at the end and look important. But thank you to Tino and of course thank you to the amazing artist herself, Tando. Lambo, I'm going to ask to just come and speak a little bit about her pieces and then she's going to perform um, a few songs for you because she's not only a visual artist but she's also a musician which is uh, a really big score for us. So ladies and gentlemen, Tando Lambo. <laughs> Hello everyone, good evening. Thank you so much to everyone that's here. I'm like truly humbled and a little bit afraid, but it's gonna be fun. Um, thank you to Vera and Incubator Zimbabwe for a very cool concept. I'm super happy to be part of it. Thank you also to ZGS. Funny enough, my first live performance was here, over there four years ago. Shout out to Yandani, she's here. Soul Session Zimbabwe, so ZGS supporting the creatives for years. Um, yeah, I've got three pieces here that I'd love for y'all to come and see. I don't really intellectualize the things that I paint um, because they just sort of come out. So take a look and let me know what you see. I'm always very curious to find out. Also, if you don't like it, that's fine. Uh, let me know too. And yeah, I guess welcome to my space. It's cool to be vulnerable in such a public way. Like that's my literal desk and the way that it looks. That's my literal bed. But yeah, um, I'll now just do a couple songs and then we can look at the art, if that works for everyone. You, let's go! <laughs> Mm. 
So, I am originally a musician, that is my first love, been doing that for a, lot, a long time. And I've got a music duo with my little brother called Season. It's a really cool project, I'd love for y'all to check it out. It's like funky, wavy, vibey, but I'm gonna do an acoustic version of our song, Never Enough. Ooh, someone knows it. Yes, I do. Now imagine it acoustically. Mm -hmm.
Are you ready? Yeah. I said I'm ready yet. Yeah. I'm ready to let the rivers wash over me. I said I'm ready. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready to let the So you guys can stream that. Um, this next one is recovering. I took a part of an Erica Badu song. I feel like she's kind of like my spiritual musical godmother. So I took a part of her song and I did a little reprise of it. So I hope you enjoy. This one is not out, but it might come out one day. <clears throat> Blood. 
and I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> and also, thank you to the friends who've pushed me. That was the point of mentioning that. Thank you, all of you. Yes. 